Welcome to the channel. Today we're putting the floor down. We're going to try. Just got back from town. Uh, I could not find a tra uh, transition strip, so I'll probably have to order that from uh, Amazon, whatever you call them. So we've already got the floor swept. What I got to do now is get all the pieces out of my truck, lay them out. Uh, this was a floor that my brother put down and they decided to go with something else so it was only down on his floor for a month so some of the pieces are cut so i'm going to separate them put them in the pile a separate pile so i know those are the pieces to use for the cut pieces uh we're going to start over here in the left hand corner i have never put any kind of flooring down in my life other than subfloor so it doesn't look too difficult i'll figure it out so what we're going to do is we're going to come all the way back here. I'm going to go in there about a foot, just past the curtain, and go straight. I'm not going to I'm not going to carpet or uh, floor the rest of that. Uh, if I do decide to just keep putting the water heaters back here, um, I want to put a pan in there. I, don't, I just it doesn't need it, so I'm not going to do that. And it's a closet, man. So. I'm gonna get started. I got my sweatpants on so I can be nice and as flexible as I can and comfortable getting up and down. I'm gonna go up there and get those knee pads and after that and I'll be back when I'm ready to start. Stay tuned. Alright, I got the first couple pieces down. I wasn't gonna film that man. I ain't never done this stuff. I had to make my own spacers because them ones they give me, they slip right under that. So yeah that ought to be good with the trim on everything's square uh man that little piece there that was easy it was an easy cut i went to put that thing in i could not get it to lay down i could not figure out what it was well there was a nail sticking out of the concrete so once i got that down i got the hang of it so now the rest of this i should be able to knock out rather quickly so we'll put you on time lapse let's see what i get done up and down on my knees and i had to go get dig out of the dirty laundry my plumber's crack free shirt hangs down nice and low in the back just gonna get it all dirty and smelly anyway and it didn't help that i stepped in a pile of doggy doo out there and drug that in here so i had to stop and clean that up Millie, it was Millie. All right, there's where I'm at so far. I ain't doing a time lapse. It takes, I got to go outside, cut the piece. It wouldn't be a good time lapse, but I'll just, I'll come on as I progress. Uh, being that this was already laid once, some of the edges, you got to kind of jiggle and wiggle and, you know, some of them a little tough to get in there. So it's taking me probably a little longer. I do got an unopened box, but I'm going to try to save that in case there's enough to do the bathroom. But... Yeah, I'm getting the hang of it. It's not real difficult. Once you get a few down, you, you learn the little tricks. And you can use your fingers. If you feel a little rough bump or whatever, you know you're not in that little slot right. And you got to reposition it and pull it up. And Hi, right, man. Probably not going to be a long video, but I want to just get this get this floor on. Ready, ready, ready. I'm walking the floor over. Oh, that one's broke. Use that to cut. I'm walking the floor over you. It wouldn't be so bad if I didn't step in poo. Jiggle wiggle. Jiggle wiggle. I'm glad this ain't like a puzzle. But I gotta meet up all the lines. I ain't doing that. Can I 
gonna use this piece that's broke here. Why I can. And that is gonna be easier than it was laying the deck I'll say that but I'm 35 pounds lighter too so that may have something to do with it 35 eighths all right let me go cut this piece and I'll be back all right I'm about I'd say three quarters of the way done I'm gonna stop feeding the dogs Stretch these legs, rest for a bit, boy. It's hard on an old boy. We're getting it done. Woo! Don't like no hands and feet work, or hands and knees work, rather. But, yeah, and it's, you know, it's a floating floor. You're supposed to have expansion space on the ends and the sides and all that goodness. Uh, I don't know. My brain's dead right now, guys. All right, I'll uh, come back, put a few more down, come back and stay here for a little bit. Good morning. It's the talking head again. Because he don't have a body. Oh, there I am. It is the next morning. I did not finish the floor. Uh, as you know, it's the floor. I got trouble with that. But we only got about four more rows to go. Let me come back here and show you where we're at. Got a lot of it done. But I'm going to tell you what, I reached this point right here and I, there was a, a little botched up area on this concrete. Now this is not original concrete. It's not the same as in the house. It's not smooth. It's a little rough. So I, I wonder if they added on this room. I don't know. So anyway, yeah, it's been giving me a lot of trouble in here. And I should have never left these in my truck. They were in the back seat of my truck. Jumping around. But I mean, they're going together okay. I screwed up a few. Boy, that one's got to come up. I see that's broke. Uh, so I think, you know, what I'm going to do is... Right now, I'm going to head to the lumber store and get some more 1x4s. So when this isn't... Hopefully, this isn't going to take me that long. And then I can start on getting the trim done. Then we're done. Then we are done with this place. Other than shimming out these outlets and putting the covers on and doing a little touch up. Then we're going to be done. I want to be done today. The desk will be here today. Uh, so I want to get that done. So I can get that stuff moved in here. Uh, it, I can tell it's going to be really nice with this floor. In. I haven't had a floor in almost 10 years. So that is going to be nice. So I'm going to run right now and go get that stuff. Anything else I can think of. And we're going to get going on this. Hopefully this video gets up tonight. Because I ain't putting it up till this room's done. Alright. Alright, I got the... This is as far as I'm going. I know it's dark in here, guys. As far as I'm going in the closet, I'm just going to go a few inches from this tank. Because if I replace it, it may be... It looks like the ones I'm looking at, they're a little wider. And uh, so I'm going to come out to about here and then go all the way back to the wall. And I've got to get on, on the bottoms of these and tack them in better. So now I've got that 14 inch strip. I'm going to start with a 14 inch strip on this end and then run two full pieces. And I should come up the same. Well, actually, I'll cut one that size. I think that's like 35 inches, 30, 30 inches and a half. I'll put a full uh, full piece uh yeah see i don't yeah that'll match up with that seam so that short piece will go there and then a full piece because i don't want a bunch of short pieces on the end there that would that wouldn't look good and it wouldn't wouldn't hold wouldn't be as sturdy you got to tie that in what do i know i'm no expert on this i'm just getting but i did get all that fixed uh 
you know, let me get you down here. See how rough some of this concrete is? I don't know if that's giving me trouble or what. All right, I'm coming back. All right, floor is done, man. Let's take a look. Look at that, guys. The first floor in the house. First floor in the entire cabin that isn't concrete. Come out pretty good. And I ended it right there because I don't know what I'm doing in here yet. There's not enough to do. Actually, there is enough probably to do the bathroom left. What I did here is I just squared it off right where the tank is uh, and just went back that way. That gives me a place, you know, if I want to put stuff in there. I don't want to pile a bunch of stuff in there with that heater in there. So we're not worried about that. Some shelves, that'll work real nice. So when this curtain's down, you're not going to see that. What did I do? Oh, it's all messed up. So this is what we got, you know. Pretty cool. Let me fix the curtain. All right. Something like that, but hey man, I'm ready to start painting. I went and picked up 15 more 1x4s this morning. And uh, I'm going to start laying that down. You're not going to see any of the any of that. It's going to look nice. So let me, whatever I can get done today, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll put that on this video. It's about 11.30 right now, so I should be able to get quite a bit done. But this is it. The, only, the next time you will see this room... Is when the computer's in here, the desk, stuff on the walls, everything's touched up. It's going to be nice. I already know it. And I still need to find a shade. I have to wait to go to Walmart next time. Still need to find a shade for the window. I'm not going black. I mean, that's one place. Unless you work nights and I've done that. You don't want a black shade. I'm going to get a white shade because we've got a white fan. We've got a white window. Why not a white shade? And I am going to incorporate white in here because white and black and red look good. So, you know, maybe some shelves that are white just to kick it off. Who knows, man? Who knows? All right, let's get, I got to get busy. I ain't got time to sit here and talk with y'all. I keep telling you. Ah, all right. All right, I have been busy, 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 busy in the red room. Let's take a look at what I got done. All right. We got the baseboards on. All the way to here. I have not put one on here yet because I got to frame this door in. I want to wait and see what I'm doing there. I've got a piece all the way across the top. And one there. Wanted to get this wall done so I can bring in my computer and stuff tonight. My desk is here. Uh, in a minute here, I'm going to touch up them spots of red paint. Uh, come out pretty good. Now, we still got to frame out the window, do the window sills. What else we got to do? There's still a lot of trim to do. Frame around this doorway. This doorway gets trim in here, out here. This one, too. This never was a door. This was a... I, I busted through here. This was a closet. There was never a wall, a doorway here, but there is now. So I got to frame all that out. Uh, I burned through 15 boards like that. So, but this is the last video you guys are going to see of this build until it's done. And I'll, I'll show you the big finish on it. But for the most part, all the time consuming hard stuff is done. It is done. Still got to do the door. And then I got that one of them new fangled automatic fingerprint reading door handles. I'm going to put on there. Yeah, and that's going to be its own video in itself. I'm going to review the product. But I chose this door is where I want it. I want the highest security door lock on this door. Not that it matters if somebody wants in. They're going to get in. But we're going to do that. Uh, four come out good, man. I mean, I had to fight some of the pieces, and, and here towards the end, I started to figure it out, you know, what pieces I shouldn't use, which pieces to use. Uh, 
and then it went a lot easier and there were some special cuts here and there but it all went pretty good uh, I just took my time on it I wanted it right and it come out really good so I want to thank my brother for giving me this flooring uh, and I want to thank JB Conway uh, I'll put a link to her channel Pierogi, I believe god I hope I may if not I'll put a link in the description to JB she gave me all this nice wallboard uh, if it wasn't for them too I wouldn't be done now because I couldn't afford all of that I mean cost me a fortune just in two by fours and one by fours and everything else so the budget's blown for the month but I got my office man and I can at this point I can go ahead and bring my desk and my computer in here because I want to get these wires out of here they're all getting sucked out I'm gonna put my DVR or my monitor here so you won't see none of that then I can take care of all that and so I can go ahead and move in here and that's what I'm gonna do tonight well I'm gonna make a big batch of fajitas and if there's time I might I'll just be up late but we're gonna move it all in here uh, I've got to make sure I find a stud to hang my monitor that's hanging on the wall and I believe I can easily yeah there's one right here so that's about where it will be uh, it's quite a quite a good size desk 61 inches long so that should be about center all right guys this is a two-day video usually I shoot all my videos the same day but I started yesterday got about three-quarters of the way done I said man I gotta stop and because it's kicking my butt you know it's just the up and down up and down that's hard on an old guy but I always have said since I've had this house I'm gonna have to hire somebody to do the floors nine more I'm gonna do them myself because I approved twice I can do it very painful it takes a long time but I can do it you know wearing the knee pads and I got another pad that I kneel on you know once I'm down there I'm all right for about 10 minutes maybe then I got to stand up then my back starts hurting but man I'm gonna do it I got to finish this thing myself and that's what I want to do so I'm gonna start saving up for flooring for the rest of the cabin and that's going to be in the near future so it, i have to measure and and find out it's going to be the whole thing but i need to figure out what that, what all that's going to cost me to start putting that back so i can get that done so watch my videos that helps me subscribe i appreciate all of you happy trails well, it wouldn't be a video without ending it with you yeah of course, I had to take breaks today, huh? We have, we got the chair over here. She likes chair time. Yeah, you do. Oh, we're gonna take take chair time. Some noisy noise or some. What are you guys just lounge around all day? You got the life, huh? Look at Melly. She don't have a care in the world. And you're silly. That cow's cussing at you. What are you gonna tell that cow? Who's this? Are you in prison? Are you in prison? I see you're behind bars. Sometimes that's good for you. There's my boy. And he ain't been feeling good today. Been in there laying in a dog apartment. At least I got that if they're not feeling good. He's all right. Hey, I'm 12 years old almost. In about a month, you'll be 12. Yeah. Yeah. You're still getting around real good for 12 for a beagle. We don't know what you are, Lily. You're probably going to live to be 106. Yeah. We don't know what you are. You're chubby, I can tell you that. Scared of your own shadow, chubby. All right.